You should notice that all of this discussion has been about designing the application, not about building it. The design phase is just as important as the build phase. In the past, it has been common for people to use what I would call the build-rebuild model. A programmer would spend an hour or two discussing the application with the requester and then go away to build something. If that version wasn't right, they'd rebuild it. We don't allow people to build and rebuild bridges or ships. Why should we allow software engineers to do it? If you don't do enough design before you start to build, then the cost, schedule, and quality of the application will all suffer. There are tools that will allow programmers to build very good prototypes of applications. Prototyping is a good idea, but it does not replace design. In the industrial world, engineers start with a detailed marketing specification and then spend months designing a product to those specifications. Then, in the case of machines, they will go into the model shop to build a prototype. The design will then be adjusted to solve problems revealed by the prototype. Only then will the product be put into production. This is the kind of process we need to adopt for software. Also note that this design work is basically done on paper. A paper design makes it easier to be objective about the proposed solution. If someone has done programming work too early, they can be emotionally attached to their work, and that can interfere with making necessary changes. There is also a risk that management will sign off on something that is little more than a sketch of the application. This will come back to haunt you. Designing on paper is faster and cheaper than improvising with a coding tool. You can iterate quickly, and you can maintain customer engagement by having them review the work before you commit major resources to it. Another benefit is that a paper design helps you maintain a lean approach. A lean approach reduces the cost and increases customer satisfaction. Programmers tend to be creative people, and without the discipline of a paper design, they may add features that don't add value. In the future, programmers will be like contractors in the building industry. Their job will be to realize the design, not create it. Good documents will give you good traceability. This will help you make sure that the application does what you intended. There are expensive tools for doing this work, but they aren't necessary. Indeed, you may want to avoid expensive tools until you have gained some experience doing this work with basic Office applications. The documents in my Rapid Design method have both words and diagrams, and you can make these using common tools like PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. In the next few slides, I'm going to show you some examples of design documents made with PowerPoint. This is possible because Microsoft includes basic flowchart symbols in this product. This is a simple business process map for paying people. A process map has a trigger at the beginning. Then you have steps and decisions. Finally, you have an endpoint. Creating this document is your first opportunity to involve the users and their managers in the project. Here is an entity relationship diagram. This document is essential for getting the structure of the database correct. When you do the process map, you will discover the people, objects, and documents that must be handled in the application. The ER helps you organize all of those components. It shows the hierarchical relationships, the dynamic relationships, and the quantity relationships. Here is an example of a screen mockup. Screen design is one place where you can involve the users to great benefit. They can help identify missing items and also correct terminology. I'm aware that there are tools that can do this in much more detail. Those tools are not magic. If your organization is not in the habit of doing this kind of preparation, then buying a tool won't make it happen. The value of doing it this way is very high compared to not doing it at all. Iteration is one feature that separates contemporary design techniques from the old waterfall method. Waterfall was essentially a one-shot process. It was assumed that everything you needed to know could be captured in one pass. If you iterate each of these documents three to four times, you will have 95% or more of what counts in your design. You'll be missing some details, but these will be easy to add in later sprints if the structure is correct. 
It's important to involve the users early and often. This will help you catch mistakes early so they can be fixed cheaply. And it will get buy-in by keeping users involved in approving the changes they request.